Okay, so last time we talked about what makes a group, and we said that if you find all the symmetry operations for a molecule, they all comprise together a mathematical group. And what this means is that any molecule uh, that has the same list, complete list of symmetry operations, is what you can call in the same point group. Um, so one example is I mentioned that if you have water, water has a C2 axis, sigma v in the plane, sigma v prime going uh, into the board, uh, also E. And then we also have something like ethylene oxide. So this also has E, a C2, down this axis, sigma v, sigma v prime. So what, what we're saying is that because the complete list of symmetry operations for these two molecules is identical, they're in the same point group. So for this class, we I uh, want to be able to assign every molecule's point group by looking at its symmetry operations that are available. Um, in this example, these two uh, molecules are in what's called C2V. Um, so this means that there's a central axis of rotation, there's a C2, which is the highest axis of rotation, and also that it has mirror planes that are contain the axis, right? So both, so here's our C2, C2. Both mirror planes contain this axis, so we don't have a, a sigma h. So C2V stands for vertical mirror plane. So we'll go through uh, more examples uh, right now. But on your um, on Sakai, there is a flow chart for how to assign point groups uh, for every element. So uh, download that, practice it on that website that I sent you. And um, but we'll do a couple examples right now. Um, let's see. So uh, the flow chart, I guess we can go through this right now. So first, you want to see whether the first is like if it's in a special high symmetry group. So the typical one is if there are multiple higher order axes. So the example we did in class today was we looked at methane and uh, octahedral molecules. And those have multiple C3s or C4s. So those are multiple higher order axes. So those are in higher symmetry groups. But this one does not. So, and this one, doesn't ha this one does have a C2. So because it has a C2 and doesn't have perpendicular C2s, uh, it's got to be in this C label, and then C2 because it's a 2. And then because there's no horizontal mirror plane, and so it's got to be C2V. Um, C2V is one of the most common point groups out there. OK, so that was pretty easy. Um, let's do a more complicated molecule. So. Here is borane. Again, planar and symmetry elements. Let's see. We have our C3. We actually have now have a C2. This is in the board. So we have three perpendicular C2s along this, these BH bonds. And they're also sigma Vs. So these all contain the C3s. Sigma V, sigma V, sigma V. Um, so, and there's a sigma H that contains this plane. Oops. So if we go through our flow chart, so one, no high order axes. Order axes. Or no multiple high order axes is what I mean to say. We have the C3. Um, and because we have this, we have a C3. And now we go to the second part of the flow chart. Do we have the perpendicular C2s? So we do. So because of this, this is now in the D point group. So D3. So again, 3 for this central primary axis. D meaning that we have perpendicular C2s. I guess we can call these C2 primes. That's how they're often denoted. C2 primes. And then because we also have this horizontal mirror plane that's perpendicular to, this, to the C3, this is D3H. OK, easy peasy. OK, and last example we'll do more in class. If we have this molecule, let me get, make sure I get this right. Chlorine, bromine, hydrogen. And then, so this is a confirmation specific thing. OK, so this molecule has no rotational axes of symmetry. 
right? If you go down the CC bond, you can't rotate bromine into hydrogen or chlorine, and you can't really rotate this onto here because your orientation about this carbon, these carbons will not be the same. So what this means is there are no multiple hydrogen axes, but there isn't also a primary axis of rotation. So this is a special point group, and this one is actually CI, meaning there's inversion, but no other symmetry and no other rotation. So you can see the inversion. Chlorine is coming out of the board right now, but if we invert it, it goes down and it's going into the board. So it's fully, remember inversion is x, y, z going into negative x, negative y, negative z. And that's the case for this model. So this is kind of a special example of CI. CI is a fairly rare point group. You won't often see it. Okay, we'll do more examples in class.